Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today we are going to do an unbagging and a review. So let's see who this is from. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Hang on. It's all stuck at it. Alright, well I have two cross stitch kits as you can see and they are from paint some way and it's a really nice budget friendly little store I love it let's see what these look like isn't that gorgeous look at that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yes 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 get it open get it out of the way here so it didn't make so much noise crinkle. All right, let me put that up there. Okay, where did the instructions and the picture and everything? It's all on the bottom, of course it is. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Look at all the stuff in her hair. There's mountains, there's little pagodas, there's cranes or swans or whatever. Just all different kinds of things in her hair. This is a 50 by 65, it says. But that is just an outstanding picture. I hope it turns out as half as good as that. Okay, and comes with a nice booklet. There are, I'm trying, okay, there's no more on this side. And as you know, I, I don't do many people, so this will be different comes with this lovely instruction instruction book big easy to read here here and on the back and on this side just beautiful but it's like a, a bust line you know it, it doesn't go any further it'd be gorgeous if you could see that whole dress that she's got on it'd be awesome but it does have 34 colors this key does not match the canvas key. Comes with an instruc ah, instruction booklet on how what how many threads to use, how to pick up, pick out like take the number and match it to the symbol, and how to divide the thread, how to cross stitch. It also has down here um, your how, uh, a guide to how to do different stitches so it says whole stitch half stitch quarter stitch three quarter stitch continuous back stitch that's two words cast off and French knots so let's see this only has cross stitch in it so there's no back stitching whatsoever we'll get rid of that because we don't need that right now so let's see what's in here Let's get out the colors. Comes with a toolkit. There are, there's a poof ball and a thimble. And one, two, three, four needles and a threader. So see, this is a smaller kit in comparison to the ones that come with all that plus a seam ripper. So I guess they didn't think it was necessary. I don't know. We're just going to set that aside. Let's take a look at all these beautiful threads. Well, right off the bat, you have a hank of, it says number seven on it. This one actually matches the canvas. And this one says number nine. It doesn't give a thread color, but look at all that beautiful red. That's for the background. Gorgeous. Let's see what these look like. Well, got a piece of plastic and now it's stuck to my finger we're doing well all right let's take a look at these beautiful threads they're all nice and long the way I love it you have blues and purples pinks dark blues turquoise darker turquoise over here some browns let's see on this side you have golds and browns 
in a brighter gold. Reds, beautiful blues and purples. We'll just hold it just like that. So maybe you can see all the beautiful colors. I'll get my big fat fingers out of the way. Just so you can see it. Oh, just, it's a stunning piece. Just stunning. It doesn't have a name of who made the kit. But it comes kind of like the ones, the classic cross stitch. So I'm kind of assuming that that's who made it. But it does not say that. Top, bottom, anywhere. But it's just a well put together kit. I have had several of these from that same company. Look at those red. That red. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is number nine. What do you bet it's 666? Number nine. Nope, 321. Christmas red. And this one is number seven. 310 black. So you don't have too much of that. Nice. There are, oops, sorry, my bad. Two more needles here. See, I told you that that happens sometimes. The canvas is surged all the way around. Look how big this is. Look at her face. Holy cow, huh? Let me put you up way high. Yeah, there's her face. And there's all the things. I was worried that, you know, it was not going to be uh, distinct enough. But I think this is going to be gorgeous. Just absolutely stunning. I've seen this and I passed it up about 15 times. And I'm like, nope, we're just going to get it. So, yeah. Now, it doesn't say anything up here. I mean, it does, but it's in China. It says 100% something here. But the key, as you can see, is nice and big. Runs full length. It's real easy to read all these symbols. It's got some big areas. But the symbols themselves are very easy to read. We're going to bring you down again. Oops, my bad. I'm trying to get it to lay flat and give me some light. Good gravy. But yeah, I'll just hold it real still. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see how big this puppy is. Where, where? Okay. Hang in there. We're getting across. All the way across is 19 and a half, which is... Mm, about 49 and a half centimeters up and down it is if I could just get it to lay flat hang on flat 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 I need a bigger table have you ever noticed that we're looking at 25 inches so it's like 64 and what did I say this said it is, okay, so it's 50 by 65. Was it 50 across? We have a salvage edge over here on the left-hand side, but the rest of it's all, you know, surged. So 19, about 49, so it's really close to 50. And it is 65. The actual picture is... 15 and 3 quarters, which is 40. Hold that thought. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And going down, it is 54 inch, 54 centimeters, which is oh, about 21 and a quarter up and down. But this is just fantastic. Get down. Please. Thank you. Just absolutely beautiful. So plain and easy to read. Yeah, this background's going to take a hot moment. That's where all that red's going to go. But I'm anxious to see the colors in her face and how that all turns out. You know, it's a big area here that you have to stitch. Then it has some more colors, you know, to accentuate all that. But I really want to see all that stuff up in her hair because that's just fantastic. 
So if it comes out looking that good, it'll be a miracle. It will be a miracle. But it's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm anxious about the, the, what do you call it, her skin. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful kit. Whoops. We got stuff in attaching to it, and then the, yeah, we're having issues today. We're having issues. Now this kit, let me get everything together here so I don't lose anything, because heaven forbid. This kit, it's called China Lady Blue, 50 by 65. It was $14.99. But it is, I mm, just love this, right up there with my cranes. I just absolutely adore it. All right, so on to the next. Now, I got another pillow because, you know, one was just so not enough, right? Comes in a nice Ziploc bag here. Whoops, poof ball is escaping again. So we'll have to push the needles through there and then I'll just put it on my, my pin cushion just so I don't lose it. Okay, so we have a nice big chart. If I can get it. What is the issue? Static. It's just stuck. To, it wasn't stuck, stuck for good, but it was stuck. Let me show you. Maybe. Not going to show me a picture? Okay, I will insert a picture. Not here, but in a moment. And I believe this one is these are the peonies. That's what it says. Now, their idea of peony and mine might be two different things. I'll just show you the picture, okay? Comes with a big instruction sheet, how to do everything, just like the other one. I think this is a standard page. And what to do afterwards, and how to get all the, the dye off, and that kind of thing. So, we'll see. This... It's supposed to be 45 by 45, so help me remember that. Let's take a look at the threads. Put that up there so I can save for the thread. It helps. Every little bit helps, but this does have a plastic bag that it came in. I don't know if it's actual packing bag broke. And they put it in a nice Ziploc bag, but I sure do appreciate it. Oh, this has 13 colors. And I don't... It doesn't show that you do the background. There is no key. What? Really? Did I miss something? Honest to God, there is no key to this. I can't believe that. I must have lost something. No, that's that. Huh. That's bizarre as hell. I don't get it. You have a key. I mean, a thing, but you have no idea what colors are what. Well, that's special. I am so not impressed. I didn't want to even do this pillow in the first place. Okay. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me look on something else. Nope, there is no key to this at all. Well, I guess you figure it out yourself, huh? I don't know if you go by colors of the thread. I've just never seen anything this odd. I mean, you could wing it. There's only 13 things, but I don't know. Hmm. And it's not like all this is... I mean, you can tell this is light and dark green. I mean, light, medium, and dark green. I have no idea. Weird. Just absolutely weird. Did I miss something on something? Let me look. I will look. Nope, these are those that I just got out of there. No key whatsoever. 
So, I don't know. I mean, hmm. Wow. And you've got these two pinks. I could wing it. I really could wing it, but man, that just pisses me off. There's nothing written on the back of that. Let me just make sure. I don't think I dropped anything. Not this time, at least. But that is unreal. Well, we know this is going to be black because the writing is always black. So the dots are the black. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Freaking weird. Freaking weird. Hmm. That I, I'm stumped. I'm just absolutely stumped. Does anybody see any kind? There's nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Okay, let's see what's inside of here. It's got a zipper on the back. Woohoo. And I got the other one and it had a had a you know, a key. I'm sure of it. This just zips. You can buy the pillow forms. I don't know if they have pillow forms, but you can buy a pillow. That's irritating. See, this is kind of, you know, it's kind of like getting a diamond painting and then you got to figure it out when it gets there, you know? Sometimes that happens. At least it used to. Now, not so much. But, and I just hate that. So, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. I will let them know that, that there was absolutely no, no key in there whatsoever. Because you need a key, and there's not one on this. Am I missing something? I mean, seriously. Beautiful flowers, but, you know. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend this product. I really wouldn't. I can personally wing it if I have to. But, hmm. I don't know. But I would, wouldn't would want some, one of you guys to get this kit and, you know, have to do this. If you've never done cross stitch or anything else. But I will let them know and we'll see what they say. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. This silly thing was supposed to be 45 by 45. Let's see if it's 45 by 45. Hold it. I had it out too long. I'm irritated. Just irritated. Right up there with oh, that other company that I didn't like. It's not that I don't like this company because I have had stuff from them before and never had a problem. So, six and three quarters, which is yeah, about 42 and a half. Whoop. I can't measure it if you're in the way. We're talking, this is the whole pillow. So, which is 17, a little, about 17 and a quarter for the whole thing. So, if you got like an 18, not 18, go the other way, Laura. Like a 16 inch pillow or a little bit bigger, it would fit. If you could find a 17, that would be great, but I have no idea. The actual diameter of the main part is 12, 12 and a half, which is oh, almost 32 inches both ways. So it's nice and round. God, I was looking forward to working on this. It's an 11 count. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to get the picture and see if these lines are the dark green. I mean, it would be a process of elimination, you know. But it's just irritating that that has to happen. There's no purple in here. 
Mm -mm. Nope, I will email them. I'm sorry, guys. Yep. And uh, let you know what they say in the description. And we'll see what comes of this. Well, so much for working on that one, huh? Guess you know which one we're going to start, huh? All right. I will be back in a minute. I'm going to put all this together. And I will be right back. All right. I am back. I think we're a little close here. Hold that thought. There we go. So, we are going to be working on the Chinese lady. And I wanted to let you know that I contacted them and told them about the other kit not having a key to go from. And they are working on it. So, if I have any more information about it, I will pass it along. So, we're just going to stitch on this one. So, the first color that I'm using is 820. I believe that's what it was. Yes, 820. It looks like 823, but it's, it's kind of dark. But I thought at least that way you could see it when I was stitching. This is an 11 count, so I am using three strands. Sorry. <sighs> Days. This is a nice canvas. It's one of those thinner ones. And it is surged all the way around. I do like that part. I just love this image. Just absolutely love it. It is so pretty. You could just frame that right like that. But I thought I'd start at the bottom and work my way up. And we'll see how that goes. Although I want to get to everything that's in her hair. You know how that goes. Always. Always. I just don't want to have to live through all that red at right at this time. So, while I'm stitching, I will tell you about paint some way. I can find my piece of paper. They have cross-stitch diamond painting, paint by number, and they do custom, but I'm assuming... I didn't look that up. Um, they have customs for diamond painting and cross-stitch. Now, you might check it out. They might do it for the paint by number as well. Let's see. I ordered this on... It was shipped on the 26th of October, and I got it on the 3rd. So, a little less than two weeks, right? Is that how my math goes? So, it didn't take very long to get it. It just seems like I just ordered this for some reason. They have, um, right now, they have buy four, get one free, which is nice. Especially this time of year when you want to get gifts for people and that kind of thing. Or you want to get some projects to work up before Christmas. So it's a nice time, you know, most of the stores have some kind of a, you know, a special going, which is nice. And it it's very helpful. I'm not planning on buying everybody a cross-stitch kit this year. That just won't be happening. Because I don't think they'll be as much into a cross-stitch as diamond painting. But they got a few things going, so... Yeah. You know what I mean. And as with everybody that's got kids, it's just, it's been a hectic year. I mean, just insane. Just insane. I'm planning on having a couple, what do you call it, artsy craftsy days with my grandkids here. I, I don't get to see my grandson and my granddaughter, daughters, that much. One of my granddaughters is uh, in Missouri, so... The other one, she's 
into sports, so she's always got some kind of sport going. Always. And the other, my grandson, he, he's only like seven, so seven or eight. He's just not into the sport thing yet. But he did like to diamond paint, you know. He did the little stickers, so. They have those, too, you know, at the store. They have lots of uh, diamond painting crafts and cross-stitching crafts. So, you know, you pick whichever one you like. They have a lot more um, diamond painting tools than they do cross-stitch tools at Paint Some Way. But they're getting there, you know. I mean, I realize it takes a while to get things up and going, but for over that overall, I do like this store. I really do, despite that that pillow. See, that pillow has been like my nemesis. You know, I've always wanted to do those pillows, so I finally get the pillow, and then something goes wrong. So it, it's kind of like, nope, we're just not going to touch that for right now. Not for right now. Mm mm. So, yeah. We'll do other things. I like to stitch, so I'd like to get into this one. It is so pretty. Maybe I just like the blue, but I like the blue and the gold in this. This kit is just absolutely beautiful. And I've had, like I said, I've had uh, three or four of these that I consider classic. Is it called classical cross stitch? This did not say that, but it's in the kitted together that same way. So I would definitely recommend this kit. And they also have beaded cross stitch. Now when I say beaded cross stitch, they're, the pictures are not very big. Not the picture of the product, but the pictures that you actually make. So they have mostly keychains and things that would hang from say your rear view mirror type thing or you could just hang them i have some hooks in my house that you know back in the day um you hung like potted plants and i'm sure people do now but i don't have any plants in here except for my little bamboo thing that i bought at the grocery store so i don't have any need to but you could hang them they're in the ceiling already, you know what I mean? There's always already a hole. But you could hang those little beaded things. Sorry, I needed a drink. Um, you know, from those those hooks that they have up. I have a, what do you call it? Like a wind chime. I can't put them outside because I live too close to people. When I lived in the country, nobody cared, you know, what what made a noise, but here you're just kind of got maybe 20 feet between houses, so I really wouldn't do that, so. Yeah. So you could hang those things other places than in your car, is what I guess I'm going for. They have lots of, uh, the diamond painting ones like I did with the, uh, what was that? It's a butterfly. Yeah, I did think. Like a butterfly thing with some, we'll call it beads hanging down with that great big prism looking stone, if you will. They have lots of those. And I like those. Those are nice, quick, easy projects. And if you were capable, you could put those in the window and They'd catch all the light and the sun and stuff. But they have a, a big variety of diamond painting, cross stitch, that kind of thing. And they have lots of sizes of you know, the, your cross stitch and your diamond painting. I was really impressed. You know I like the big ones. But, yeah. But they have it, something for everyone, and, and I like that part. I'm running out of thread already. 
It's a pretty green, isn't it? Reminds me of Christmas green, and then it's against that red. And these symbols are really easy to look at. They seem to be, like, strung out. I'm impressed that they're strung out, and they're not real hard to... It's not... It's confetti, but it's not confetti. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you can see... You got a circle, and then you got these twos, but... It's like it's in a line. Makes sense? Holy cow. I'm telling you. It's hard to explain things some days. But I do like this kit. I, I like it just on that. I'm going to do this. I just like to have it. I got too many that I like to have. But I'm only one person that's stitching here. My daughter apologized yesterday for not starting her other one. But she said she just had... Well, my granddaughter was sick, so... She has a strep this week. So it wasn't a good week to start her thing. So she'll get to it. She just needs to stop and, and do nothing for ten minutes. So we're, we're converting them to cross-stitch one at a time. My granddaughter hadn't gotten onto it yet, but she will. I think it's just a matter of focus for her. So. Oh, they also have counted cross stitch. Some stores do, and some stores don't, but this one actually has counted cross-stitch. I have no desire to do a counted cross-stitch from a kit. I just, I, I can't do it. I like these. These, these feed my soul. Because they're so easy, and it's something you can accomplish. Let's see what else. Oh, they have uh, free shipping over, we'll call it $50, it's $49, which is nice. Because it wouldn't take me any time at all to get to, to $50. But for, you know, my $50, I can get, it depends which, what size you get, of course. But you can get three or four kits or more. which is nice. You can buy some small ones or you can buy a big one. And their prices are competitive with everybody else. So I like that part. This is just such a nice store. It really is. I like it. You notice I'm going up and down instead of across. I do that because if I don't, I get a line in my stitching from going back and forth. So I find if I go up and down, you don't have a line. Whoop. Let's not skip a whole row here. So don't let that, that one kit just deter you. I... You know, I'm sure they'll get back to me and figure out what's going on and send me the the key to it. Or they will resend me a kit that actually has a key in it. I don't, it's like somebody cut the paper short. But I wouldn't let that deter me. I've gotten things from them, oh, three or four times. And nothing, you know, has gone wrong, so... Just every once in a while, something will happen. But not necessarily just from them. It could happen with any, you know, place that I talk about. And it's bound to happen. It's like a process of elimination after you've bought 
so many, you know, something happening. So, not a big deal. They'll get back to me. It, it was just odd. It was just odd. But I'm not going to hold it against them. My goodness, they've got over 20,000 products in their store. So, if one is, you know, bad, then I'm not going to fault anybody. It just, just say it happens. Nothing in this world is perfect. But they did send an acknowledging email saying that they get it, they're on it, and they will take care of it one way or another. So, we'll see. But if I have anything to report later, I will let you know. I'll have updates to come. Sure, they're pretty blue once you get it stitched down. It's like a dark, dark royal blue, if you will. I think this will be my stitch for the day. It is so pretty. And you just want to see all the the details come to life and see what they look like. It may be a, a case. I don't know. It's big enough. I was going to say, you know, of having to put it like a distance away from you just so you can see the details. It happens. We'll have to see. But it'll be a hot moment till I get to that point. But I'm looking forward to that. It drives you on within a, a cross stitch to see how the pattern evolves and how much of it shows up. I like that. But I thought I'd start down here at the bottom so that It'd be easier to work up my way up. I don't know, some of them I do, but there's such a distance here between here and here, and I really don't want to work on that red. See, I'm avoiding the red. I could have started way up there, but I didn't. I start down there. And sometimes I will stitch on this for a while, and then I will go up there. It just, it happens. It's your cross stitch. Stitch it however you want to stitch it. But, you know, there's no set rules. Let's see. And they also have, um, what do you call it, scroll frames. They also have some of the, um, oh, what do you call those things? Q-snap type ones. They're not Q-snaps. They're Q-Snap look-alikes. And they even have that one that uh, folds. Not folds. It bends, but it, it looks like a Q-Snap. And it's like a frame, but it's got like a another part of the frame at the bottom. And then the whole thing kind of leans at, a, at an angle. You know what I mean? I don't know how that would work for me. I'd have to learn to sit a different way. So, it all depends. I've never been able to use the Q-snap because I can't hold it in my hand. It's just too wide. Or Q-snap types. I have had one that wasn't actually a Q-snap. But they're just so thick, they just kill my hand. So that's why I went to my uh, lap stand that holds it for me. And I stitch much better. Much, much better. So 
So you just got to go with what feels right for you. I mean, I realize not everybody, their shoulder hurts or this or that. Everybody's got their own things going on and the reasons why that they don't use some of the things. So I've just refused to buy any more, uh, what do you call it, floor stands. I thought that was going to be a good idea. But for my back, no. And I don't have a place where it can sit so I don't have to sit with my back like stretched out it just kills me so yeah so I wish I had a, a decent chair that I could use it maybe but it's just big and cumbersome to me so that's why I like my lap stand I, that was one of the best investments I'd ever made. And it holds your... See, I work in a hoop usually, but not these. I do these in hand. Because I can't get them in a hoop because my hands are not strong enough. So, you have to find out what works for you. And what you really don't like, you know. Pretty, pretty color. But see how this is just kind of... You can see where all the green is. And then there's only two more... Symbols. There, you got the one with the circles. And the one with the other. And it's going to cause it... <coughs> excuse me. To look... Like that. In there. So it's kind of done... In loops know how to explain it it's not confetti so there for each little section there's probably four maybe different symbols which is very nice on this and it wouldn't take you very long to make progress on this because there are such big sections that just kind of go here and there it reminds me of stippling and quilting, is what it reminds me of. Where you just stitch in 15 different directions. I always like to stitch like that because you didn't have to go line and line and line around every outline, everything. That just was so boring. Where stippling, you can just stitch in a little curly cues and, and just get it all down. Ah, the days I could stitch for like ever and ever and ever. Now we have to take breaks. Alright guys, I think that's going to be about it. But you can see, in just, you know, 15 or 20 minutes, you can make some progress in here. I'll keep you updated on this. So, go ahead and take a look at Paint Some Way. Check out their diamond painting, cross stitch, the crafts for both of those. They've got it all. Just lovely. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.